Hi guys, it's Amy from Amy's Little Bit of Everything. How you doing? I'm doing all right. You might hear a couple of dogs whining in the background. Um, oh, first of all, Jessets, Seal Flappers, Fishy Lips, and Butterfly. If you did that with me, you are young at heart. And if you didn't and you don't want to and you think it's creepy, go ahead and fast forward. I don't care. Life's too short. Let's have fun. Okay, I will. <laughs> You know I'm a little goofy, and if you don't like goofy, then you probably won't like my video, because I'm just having fun, and I'm just a little bit of goofy here. So, anyways, um, oh, my dogs are inside. Jeff's not home from work yet. Um, the, um, the German Shepherd pup, he is in his crate, and he's getting a little antsy, so you might hear him whine, but he's completely fine. He's been fed, watered, walked. He walked me. I walked him. I don't know what happened. But anyways, he's fine. He's just wanting his mama and he wants out. Now, little Cujo, he had two teeth pulled yesterday. He's getting older now. And um, he only has a couple left. He's got a couple up front and then one little, one over, one sharp one over here and then a couple at the bottom. But um, he's on antibiotics, so I'm babying him today. So I let him out of his little crate and he's, you know, in the my chair. So he's kind of relaxing in that. So, little guy, you know, he's older, so mama's going to miss him one day. All right, so I got some Timu packages in, and I wanted to go ahead and start with a couple. I've got my Valentine shirt on because, like I said, if I don't start wearing it now, I'm going to run out of time. <laughs> and I've got some chili in the background cooking. Oh, there's some eggs that I got from this morning. Um, but, um, we thought chili would be a really good thing tonight. Or, yeah, I guess tonight when Jeff comes home for supper. You guys, if you've not drank any of these drinks, these are really good. And zero sugar, which is perfect for me. Give me a second. With my medicine, I get really dehydrated real fast. I constantly have to have something to drink. And those are a great pick-me-up and go because they're zero sugar. And they're a little bit different. I still doing my water but every now and then those give me a little bit more nutrient than just the water does so it kind of kicks me back into gear okay i'm going to start out with this cute little barbie outfit i can't help it once i started buying them guys i can't stop okay wait till you see this i love it i love the hat oh gosh okay here's the jeans pockets on the back. They're not real, but they're cute. <laughs> the little sweater. It's a little sweater. And it's soft. I mean, it's probably, let me see what the, let me see what the material is. Oh, 100% polyester. No, I'm teasing. It does not have a tag in it. Um, but it's Velcro. Let me see if it does have a tag. That would be funny. No, <laughs> it doesn't. But you know how everything's polyester. <laughs> you know it is so anyways but it's got a velcro back velcros up real nice i just thought this was so cute and it will go on there like this then it has this hat oh and it says handmade hey i gotta now i can do hats i got a um i wanted to say recipe <laughs> pattern <laughs> recipe i got a recipe <laughs> But a little hat, isn't that cute? Oh, and I was gonna tell you guys, I'll do a Barbie, I'll do a Barbie try on. I was gonna bring my Barbie in here and try these on whenever I came and I forgot her. Um, but I will, cause I had several comments that said, oh, I'd love to see a Barbie try on. Let's play Barbies. I was like, awesome. That means I can get my Barbies out and dress them. But I'll do that. I'll do a little try on. But those, that little outfit was $2.35. So like I said, I've got the pattern now. I can make the little hat, so. You know, it's, it's all right. Now, I've got these. These are going to be spring and summer pants, but I just thought these might be cute for um, Easter to go to church in. I mean, I'll wear them more than that, but you know what I mean. Um, they're, I don't want to throw my bags. They're that really, um, oh, sheer. Well, they got the sheer, of course, over it, but then you've got a really nice um, lining inside. And I'll have to try them on. I don't think they're see-through. I think they're, oh yeah, I think they'll be fine. 
Um, but they're real, oh, just flowing. Oh, shoot. I hope the large isn't, I got a large. Oh, I hope the large isn't too big. It's got a wide stretch on it. And things with these pants, they pull down. <coughs> I don't think they'll be too big, but they pull down. And I feel like they're just going to slide right off my hips. Um, but I got a, I have no butt. I mean, it's there. And I, I mean, I know it's there, but I got more of my stomach than anything. So, anyways, I think these will be just fine. But, um, I was just going to put on a real cute, um, shirt and wear this as my bottoms for, um, Easter. And these were, I got a large. Oh, they are large is an 810. That's got to be wrong. Guys, these are, these look bigger than that. So, if you do get these, you might downsize. I hate to tell you that. Always check the measurements. But, yeah, I think these are more, these are more like an extra large. I know they are. I know I got a large. Yeah, large. 100% polyester. Polyester. Uh, washing instructions. War with light colors. Yeah, this feels more like an extra large. So, if you get any of these, just be aware. Beware. Beware. Because they might run a little bit too big. Um, I'll have to try them on. Um, let's see. I got a large, and that's an 810. Ugh, I don't even, I can't even believe I even ordered an 810. I must have went by the measurements, because I don't do an 810. Um, and they were $13.47, and I had, I had a, some, like, over $3 of credit, and then I think I had a $5 off on this order, because, um, a package was late. But they were $13.47. I normally don't pay that, but I must have really liked them, and I must have really wanted them for Easter. Then I got these cute little um, push pump um, or push down pump dispenser. Um, it is so cute. Um, I'm going to probably put, I'll probably have um, alcohol in one. Oh, wait, you got to, it also locks in. Oh, wait, maybe I'm not pushing down hard enough. Hold on. I know. Oh, wait, maybe you push down and twist. There we go. It does have a lock on it so that you could carry it around or take it with you. But you push down, you put your cotton ball. And I'll probably put alcohol in one for when I do my nails. I like to wipe them with um, just alcohol. And then I'll probably put um, nail polish remover in the other one. And then to lock it, you just twist it and it locks right in but and this is plastic it's not glass um they were a dollar 40 40 a dollar 49 and i went ahead and grabbed two alcohol and nail remover so that's that and then i got the cutest um be happy summer kitchen towels i can't wait for spring and summer oh this winter's killing me huh and if we just got into January, I mean, well, it's almost the end of January now, but this month is flying. But this was $5.59. Sorry, I meant to have all my packages out and then Bear started wanting and I thought I better just get started. Um, but wait till you see these. These are so good. Oh, gosh, they're huge. I didn't know they were this big. But the only bad thing, they're that where they stick to your fingers. My hands are dry. And they're that, do they have a, what they're made out of? But cute, cute, cute. Very cute. And I can see them in here in my kitchen during the summer, but they stick to my fingers. And because my hands are really dry, and I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but here's the other one. But they were just so cute. I had to, so I'll deal with it. Makes me think of my mom. If you guys don't know the story, I can tell you later. But I know most of you that's been with me, um, you know my story. Okay, and like I said, for those two towels, they were $5.59. I usually don't pay that much. I usually get mine from the Dollar Tree um, for $1.25. But they're, they got the B. I can't. I have to get it. Hold on. Third strike. Hold on. My... Hold on, might be hubby. I'm back. Did you miss me? Hope so. Alrighty. Now, this is kind of like the nail haul again. <laughs> I feel like all I've been doing is Barbie and nails. Sorry about that. 
Um, oh, I got a couple more. I went ahead and grabbed up some more of the silk wrap. Um, these cost way more on Amazon, and I love doing my nails with the silk. Um, I usually just leave my nails plain, but when they start getting soft or in the summertime, pardon me, pardon me, <laughs> that's got a little carbonation in it. Um, uh, my nails start to get weak and bend, so I like to put some of this on there. So I went ahead and got stocked up on this because I sure don't want to buy any at um, Amazon. Then I got, oh, I'm going to love this. I'm going to go back and order some more. This is a cuticle pusher, and I do not have one in this metal in this metal material. But um, you push back your cuticles like that, and then you can also push back your cuticles with this. So, and you have to be careful. I mean, it's it's not sharp, but if you do push hard enough, you could hurt yourself. It comes with this little plastic thing. And also, whenever I ordered this, I thought it had little things that I could stick on here that would, um, like a, a padding, you know, like a, a small padding that you'd stick on there. And then after you got done, you'd take it off and throw it away. I didn't get one in my pack, so I'm going to check to see if I had to order those separately or what's up with that. So um, this was $1.93, so that's not bad at all. You cannot go anywhere like to Sally's or Cosmo's and get you one of these for $1.93. And if you do, let me know because um, every tool that I've ever bought from Sally's and them places are way more than that. Okay, and then I got super strong nail glue for acrylic nails, nail tips, and press on nails. Um, it's a two piece and it was $3.99. I didn't think that was bad because you do get two of them. And I've never tried this nail glue, but I thought I'd try it and see how it works. I don't have nail tips on now. All I've got is the fiber wrap on it. But um, I do put, like say if I break a nail down too far, I might stick a tip on it. Um, let's see. And then strong nail glue, no wipe. Oh, for rhinestones. Let's see. I think it's this one. Um... One says black. I don't think it's black in. Uh, let's see. I'll have to write on here because, well, this one says nail art. But some of these, I can't, I won't be able to tell what they are after I take them out of the package. Let's see. Nail art. They're both 3.0. Oh, no, one's 3.5. One's 3.6 or 4. Oh, wow. I can't tell. Well, they're both... They're both nail glue. Yeah, I think you could use them for either. Um, but they come in these little things like this. One is sticky. One says sticky. Nail art. Okay. Yeah, I don't know which one's going on here. I'm thinking this was a dollar oh four one, and this one's a ninety nine cent one. You would think, yeah, they're both about the same, so I can't tell. But they're both for like rhinestone glue. You know, you have to cure them in a light. You know that kind of stuff. So, and then oh, and then I got some of this UV resin hard. Um. After I got it, when I read it, I know the advertisement on the Timu ad said you can use it with, um, like, um, for nails. And then after I read this package, it's saying don't get on your skin. And if so, wash immediately. So now I'm thinking, should I use this for nails? And... If it's not for nails, I would not have bought it. Um, see, on the package now it says Arts and Crafts, and it has a really strong odor. Oh, phew. Mmm. Whew. I don't know. Um, cure hard within minutes. Non-yellowing. Oh, it says non-toxic, but the smell is toxic enough. Um, excellent for jewelry making. DIY fishing lure. Open back something settling. Settle. I don't know what that is. 
um, silicone molds, coating for shrink wrap, plastic, suitable for making small size ornaments, necklace, bracelets, pendants, bracelets, rings, and so on. See, on this bottle, it does not say anything about using your on your nails. On the, oh, man, that's strong, guys. Mm, I don't know. I may have to send that back. Um, I read it for sure. Let me see what it says on my, oh, here, on the description right here. Transparent UV resin hard, UV resin glue for DIY nails. Hmm. Glue for DIY crafts, jewelry making, supply accessories. I don't know. I might try it. I'll try it. And if I get it on my skin and it burns terribly bad or it eats my finger. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't because you're going to be working with it for crafts. I'll try it. But dang, it was $7.98. And if I can't use it for nails, I really, I mean... I'm just trying to think of when I would ever make this. I don't know. I'll probably keep it, but I don't know. But it's strong enough to, um, my cheeks, I mean, you can tell I'm, whew. Okay, anyways, I don't know. I'll keep it. I'll try it. And if it's too hard on my nails, then I'll send it back. I'll tell them that I can't do it. And if the odor keeps getting like that. Wow. Okay, now I got some Barbie first. Did I already get this one? I think I already got this one. I hate when I do that. Um, well, maybe not, because this one's a different kind. Oh, these are so small, or so soft. This was $3.38, and it's this pink. I think I've had, the, I think the one I have does not have, the pink one doesn't have this in it. I don't think. But I went ahead and got the another one because um, I was like, I know I'm going to make them, but one I might tear apart and leave it apart is flying um and then I might leave it apart so I wanted one all put together so that I'd see what it looks like and of course you get these cute little purses oh maybe not because I don't remember these stocking the pink stockings with the white boots Ooh, baby we're getting fancy now but yeah my husband's like what are you doing you're going back to your what I do with that bag He's like, you're going back to your childhood. <laughs> I'm like, I can't help it. They're too cute. But I make them, so I make doll clothes. So. And it's not like I'm a weirdo, like I'm sitting, like I'm a 56-year-old lady sitting in there playing with my dolls. Well, I could. <laughs> you guys know me. I probably could. But I'm not a weirdo. I mean, I wouldn't sit in there and, you know, like be like, hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Well, maybe I would. Okay, I take that back. Now, I know I did not get a red one. And then the white, I think, is a repeat buy. I didn't mean to do it, but you know how you get? You get them on there. Oh, this red is so pretty. Look at this. Oh, all I can smell is that resin and fur flying. <laughs> oh, this is so cute, you guys. Oh, wait. It's got it off track with its... Oh, all I can smell is that resin now. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I want one, but I want one in a big size. Okay. Oh, and this one come with a pink purse. And lavender stockings. Ooh, these are so cute, you guys. I got to put them on my Barbies and show you. Or my Barbies. <laughs> and then we got these boots. Yeah, I don't have very many Barbies from my childhood. They kind of got lost in between here and there and I had a lot of stuff but when I went through my divorce some stuff went with it so you know how it goes and I think he probably trashed it but anyways now I got a white one now let me open this white one I don't know if I got a white one or not you guys will have to remind me Ooh, no I don't think I got a white one I don't think so oh, this is so soft Oh, look at the white. Oh, so cute. And the white comes with black boots, a pink purse, and black stockings. <laughs> and they're so, they're so cute because they're like lace. You know, pretty lace. I love lace. All right. 
yeah, some of the dolls that I have, I've got a couple of collectors. And then I've got a couple up there. I put them up there on my shelf. But um, I've got some that was my sister's. She never opened hers. Oh, the one sister that had passed away, um, Cindy, she um, had collector dolls that she didn't open. So I'm, her husband gave them to me. All right. And all those little fur coats were $3.38. Alrighty, I think we're good on that haul. Alright, I got some more hauls. That's just um, the start. But um, I will um, go get the other ones because I'd like to couple put a couple of videos out today. Sorry, don't mean to shake the... Um, oh no, I lost my straw in my drink. Okay, there it is. I um, would like to get a couple of videos put out today. So, um, because if I don't stay on top of my Timu orders, then I'll get another one and then I get overwhelmed. So, I'll get those put out. And you guys have a wonderful day. God bless. And um, make you something good and hearty for tonight. Because it's supposed to be, I, we're not supposed to be real, real cold like we have been. But it's foggy here, rainy, and just blah. You know, you know how it is. But anyways, we're all good. Um, so, be kind, stay humble. Put a smile on your face. Put a smile on somebody else's face. It's a win-win situation. Who wouldn't want a better place to live where we're all smiles and chilly at night? Or, well, I guess that could have been chilly at night, but chilly, eat chilly at night. All right, guys, I'm goofy. I'm hoping I'm making somebody out there laugh. You guys tell me I do, so I hope I do. All right. And, um, yeah, till next video. Bye.